Mesa TV presents in three, two, one. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. All this weekend, Dateline Schools had the privilege of visiting Algonac High School and learning about their student mentoring program. And to tell us all about it, my special guest is one of the leaders of the program, Algonac High School teacher, Kurt Weltner. And, and Kurt, how often do the kids get a chance to meet together, or is it more informal than formal type of thing? Um, it is pretty formal as far as we meet. Um, the kids meet with their mentee or mentor um, twice a week for 30 minutes a, a day, and it's pretty much the whole year once we get it started. So they go every Tuesday, every Thursday, um, and that's good because every two or three days they get caught, you know, they can get caught back up. They can, you know, find out what missing assignments they have. Um, some of the kids will meet informally after. They'll say, hey, you know, we got too many. We got to, you know, meet after school today or, hey, come to the basketball game with me or come, you know, I'll, I'll see you at homecoming. So it's a little bit of both, but mm -hmm. we definitely meet uh, twice a week formally. Well, well, tell us what happens during those formal meetings. You said a half hour, so I'm sure they're not just playing cards and doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, what they do is now that we have the iPads, um, they look up their uh, their grades on the computer. So every teacher has their grades in Zangle. They look them up, so that's the first thing. Say, what, what assignments do we have missing? So the mentee and mentor look at that, and then they come up with a game plan and say, okay, what do we got to do? You know, which class are we struggling the most? Which one do you need help? And that might be going to a teacher. That might be, again, going in the locker and trying to find the five assignments because they said they did them. Um, that may be organizi organization skills, that may be note cards, that may just be talking about, you know, issues they had at home and why, you know, why they didn't get the assignments done. So it could be um, a multifaceted approach. I was going to say, one of the things you brought up is they may have the assignments done but didn't turn them in. That's a lot. I haven't that. been able to figure that one out yet. Either. Yeah, that's, that's a big one. What we find a lot of these kids is, again, organization. They... Um, they'll have 80% of it done. They didn't get it all done, so they just didn't turn it in. And we, we try to say, hey, some you know turned in is better than none. So that's that is a big approach that we we try to help. So it's not just it's not just the academic skills you're concentrating on here. No, a lot of it is social, and again, trying to to understand how to get organized and how to get you know being able to talk to a teacher. You know, we don't like it when the mentor goes to talk to the teacher. The mentor goes with them, but it's the mentee talking, and maybe the mentor is there to help guide them. And say, hey, what about this or say this? But we don't want just the mentor to go around and say, hey, where are the assignments? We want the mentee but the, the mentor as a guide. I was going to say, we can sit here and think, well, why shouldn't a child talk to a teacher? But for some kids, that could be pretty intimidating. And I think now in the new social age that we're, uh, social media age that we live in, it's hard for them to go up because they do everything kind of behind a screen or behind a text or behind something else. So I'm finding each and every year that we're part of this, it, kids fear going up to a teacher. You know, they're not, the social skills are, are limited. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.